Here we are, uh, day two of the PDC 2024, uh, biggest mining show in the world. Uh, we are at the Korchek. Uh, that means we're going to be looking at some nice rocks uh, shortly with uh, Roger Rosmus from Goliath Resources uh, that everyone that's following Golden West uh, should know about. Um, before we get into what's coming up this year, uh, yes. can you give us a very short, high-level recap of 2023 and what has been happening this year so far. Sure, I can do one better. Why don't we do a recap of where we started this thing. It was a brand new discovery, never been drilled before until we came along. Uh, essentially, we've drilled close to over 65,000 meters of drilling to date uh, with the holes that we put into our uh, Surebet discovery. Essentially, all of them have hit mineralization. And um, so what that tells us, we've got excellent continuity. Uh, it's a very predictable. Continuity for the layman is that means you know where you, you not you know but you're very certain you're going to hit with well, yeah, the next drill for sure exactly and which you know brings us to uh, today where we just actually had news today uh, regarding uh, initially we just thought we had the three veins the Sherbet the Bonanza and the Golden Gate zone in the volcanics so uh, we've done the remodeling we've had some people have put some fresh eyes on it and now we uh, actually there's looks to be ten veins. Oh, 10. Uh, 10. So we've gone from essentially three to 10, so six more. Well, Golden Gate is upper to lower, so I mean, we knew it was there, but uh, uh, which will give us some very good uh, areas where we know we should be go drilling to expand on the known horizons that we have. And in particular, um, for me, the biggest takeaway was the fact that we thought the Bonanza just sat on the, as a contact mm -hmm. between the uh, uh, sediments above and the volcanics below, uh, but it actually, Bonanza does sit in the contact, but then now actually dips down to uh, into the volcanics as well. Okay. And uh, if you recall, we uh, announced that 21 and a half um, uh, ounce material, gold equivalent, uh, some decent copper number. I think it was about 8% copper. Uh, and that's actually off to the east. So we're thinking maybe Bonanza sort of continues on and uh, somehow connected to uh, gold, um, the, um, the shear that we're seeing there. Um, and could possibly be the feeder source. We don't know, but ultimately our goal this year, hopefully, you know, we'll try no promises, but, uh, really is trying to zone in on where this, where the feeder zone could possibly be because we're doing a lot of geochem work as well. So we're kind of seeing a zonation of uh, higher, uh, bismuth and antimony as well. So, uh, there's been a lot of things going on since we finished the program, uh, a lot of planning and, uh, you know, it's still being formulated. So, uh, stay tuned. Uh, and hopefully we can continue to expand and have the success that we've had uh, with the drill bit. Well, if you certainly, if you have the hit, uh, same hit rate uh, this sure. year as you did in the last two years, yeah, yeah. three years, that's uh, that would be very nice to, to sure. report upon. Um, just a uh, quick idea for the for the scope of the drilling. The scope, well, uh, again, it's being formulated right now. I should mention also a brand new discovery here. Uh, this is from our... Uh, Treasure Island up on the ice field, so yeah. the Canterbury ice field. So this is part of the new package where we have over 66,000 hectares now. And so what we're seeing is mineralization uh, popping out of the glacier, essentially. Uh, this Treasure Island, uh, this uh, was a, a, just under a, a meter uh, a channel cut, and that ran uh, like 28 uh, grams per ton gold equivalent with about copper was around sort of 15%. So this is more of kind of BMS-ish. Again, Never been drilled before, never been sampled before. Uh, we're going to drill it this year, as well as uh, one of our other targets on the ice field uh, once we can get uh, some further mapping and uh, sort of uh, checking it out to see whether it, uh, it's going to be a viable target for us. But most likely we'll be drilling two targets up in Cambria ice field. Well, interesting. And there's certainly a lot, a lot of work there again. Um, yeah. Now, a lot of uh, juniors don't have the possibility of doing that much work. Yeah. Uh, just simply because of funding. Right. But, uh, you're... You're good, and that's what Brett's respect. Yeah, no, I mean, we're, you know, again, the drill pour is pretty amazing stuff here. Um, again, the, the hit rate is amazing. You don't see this in any type of vein system. Clearly, we have, well, we have 10 veins now based on the new model. Uh, you know, we did a, a top-up cash uh, raise in late last year. That was Rob McEwen coming in yes. to uh, bump his position up from 25 to 5% on a partially diluted basis. So we're sitting very well with, uh, with mm -hmm. cash. Get the program right now off to a start uh, without any issues. So we're not desperado to do any kind of weird, funky, cheap financings at this particular point. So we're you know, in a very unique position uh, where a lot of folks just can't raise the capital and uh, um, 
we've got a world-class discovery, then hopefully we're going to move it up to a tier one type of a deposit at some particular point. All right. Thank you very much. That's good closing remark there. We're look, certainly looking forward to having a tier one deposit there at uh, Gold Digger. Thank you. We're going to try hard. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.